Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, how are you? My name is Angela. And on this channel, we do a lot of Etsy things, embroidery, direct-to-garment printing, heat transfer vinyl, such things, decorating shirts, kids stuff, making a few adult direct-to-garment shirts, far merch such as this. This is not a direct-to-garment though, but I make motivational shirts, and those are on AngelaJazzMeter.com. I also have my own blanks business, which is what you see behind me. So we sell a bunch of blanks for decorating apparel. So t-shirts, baby gowns, um, they're very thick uh, quality, soft, stretchy, great for embroidery, as well as heat transfer vinyl. So you can check that out at AJBlanks.com. Link is always in the description to all my websites and my Etsy shops and such. For today's video, we are, or I am, behind on my Etsy orders, like a day. I just need a day to catch up. Um, this is still from those, the ad days when I was running all the ads and had the sale going on. And my Etsy shop is swamped, so I'm still behind. So we did finish all the AJ Blanks orders. By the way, thank you guys so, so, so much. You guys are like, you're killing it. Like unprecedented numbers, unprecedented sales. So thank you guys so much. We packaged like all the orders up until last night. And then this morning we woke up with so many <laughs> orders. So we're like, all right, let's finish them. So we knocked them out. It's about one o'clock now. So my husband, which is him, that man right there. Oh, hey. <laughs> he's gonna help me with my Etsy orders just to try to get them caught up. That way I can stop stressing and be in a better mood. Um, I also got my Dunkin' Donuts coffee today, which is garbage, unfortunately. If you are new to this channel, I'm addicted to Dunkin' Donuts. I drink a medium iced caramel. No, not even medium anymore. Large iced caramel latte every morning, but it was boo-boo crap. So, I'm gonna have to go back again later and get a new one from somebody else who cares when they make stuff. Anyway, anyways, I am trying to catch up on my Etsy so I can be done. So, so this is my craft room, embroidery room. It's a bit of a mess, actually cleaner than normal, but this is my craft room. This is the Melco EMT 16X. This is the Melco EMT 16X. This is a Brother Entrepreneur 6 Plus. This is a Baby Lock Endurance 2. And this is a Brother Entrepreneur Pro X. Oh yeah, I forgot. I also have that. That's the Baby Lock Alliance. So I have quite a few embroidery machines. Um, gotten them over the years. Last year I got three of these machines. These are the Melco MT X and X's, which I do make a commission if you purchase one. So if you would like to purchase one, you can please contact Todd Eggersman. You get the best deal, best price. Mention Angela from YouTube. I had to put the plug in there. So the other machines, all the brother machines, you need to buy from a dealer. So you can go to brother's website and locate a dealer if you would be interested in buying one. The reason I mentioned my embroidery machines is because I get that question in every single video. So I was like, let me just throw it in this video so it, the question is answered. So we had to start working. I will run these. I'll let my husband touch those. I don't let him touch these. It gives me anxiety. I gotta start working, gotta get these orders done. So my husband and I are gonna tag team this. Hopefully it gets done quicker. Um, usually it's hard to get all five machines up and running at the same time. Um, and when the machine's not running, I'm losing, you're losing money. You're not making as much money as you can. So the goal is to always try to keep the machines running, running, running. The longer they're running, the quicker they're running, or the, the lo longer they're going, you know what I mean? The quicker my work gets done, and the more money I make that way. So let's get, get them running. So here my husband is gonna go ahead and put the fabrics on for the applique. I know you like that dance. Um, I'm over here designing things on the computer and then I'm gonna upload them to the USB flash drive. And he's trying to cut the fabrics. Um, he doesn't usually cut on the machine, but I was trying to show him that you can cut on the machine with the Melcos versus taking it off the Melco and moving it over to the table. 
and I'm just going ahead and uploading the designs to the machine because my husband doesn't know how to do that part. Um, he knows how to cut the fabrics and everything, but I usually hoop all the shirts to make sure they're straight and then upload all the designs onto the machines because if he messes up, I'm going to be real mad. So then I'm going to find colors I need and switch the colors on the machines um, as needed. And my husband's job is pretty much cut all the threads off the back of the shirts and um, cut the applique pieces. I don't let him do designs he has never done before just in case he messes it up because I'll be mad and then he'll just get in trouble. So we just try to avoid those situations. Now my husband's all lonely, cutting all the threads off the back of the shirt, so lonely. <laughs> but we're just trying to save time, so while the machines are going, um, he's doing that just because we're always in a rush. I don't know why, but we're always in a rush, so we're trying to maximize our time here. So while he does that, I'm just trying to make the designs of the computer, upload everything. And here's the finished one, and here's some stitching work going. Now I'm using my computer to upload designs to the Melco EMT16Xs. Those run off the computer. Now I am cutting fabrics off the shirts. Um, the Spider-Man one sold so much this year. Um, it was my second most popular Valentine's Day shirt. My most popular one, you'll see it in a second, but that's the Valentine's Day girl dog shirt. It sold so, 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 so much. So it'll come up here soon-ish. Yep, there it is, that one. I think I sold maybe a hundred and some change <laughs> of those. So it sold so much um, and it was such a quick stitch out. Now I'm uploading more designs to the computer, trying to keep things going. It gets so hard to keep all the machines running. I just had a headache, I guess I walked away. Um, and then I keep forgetting to grab shirts and then I get mad because I keep going back out there. You know, my husband, I don't know where he went. He just disappeared because you know, here I am all by myself. So teamwork my booty. No, just kidding. I think he's out there tender touching right now while I'm doing this, and that just sounds horrible again. This is the 8x9 Mighty Hoop I use for everything 18 months until about a size 12. And my shirts again are AJ Blank's shirts, and I use the Mighty Hoop with their backing holder, which you can get from MightyHoop.com.
Oop, oop, oop. So we've gotten like 10 or 11, something like that, shirts done. He's the tender toucher. That sounds so wrong. Tender toucher. That sounds horrible. But he's the one who does. That doesn't sound right either. He's the one who puts the tender touch. Stop. <laughs> he's the one who puts the tender touch on the back of the shirts. So that is what he has been doing the camera's still blurry i can't fix it like why it won't focus on me there it's my face is too big all right that's better better color so we've got like 10 shirts done the machines are still running over there i closed the door so hopefully the audio isn't horrible i know the last video the machines were just so loud so he's kind of touching that and then he'll he'll he will probably package this while i'll still try to get some sh more shirts done then he's gonna go to the post office. I'm, with you. I'm not coming with you. Go get her favorite food. I'm not gonna go get my favorite food. You're gonna go get it. Because, <laughs> like, he lives in this imaginary world, guys, where I understand he loves going with me. He loves when I go with him to, you know, the post office, go get food. It's nice. But I'm the one who tomorrow has 29 orders to make tomorrow. He's like, we'll just get up early. I would get up early if Roman would sleep. Last night, Roman woke up, or this morning, I would say, from three to six, he was up. So I had to be up while he slept. So I can't control if my child sleeps. So while I'm able to work, while I have child care, I should work. Correct? Correct. Oh, now you say correct. Mm, okay. So after I just blasted you, how do you feel? Let's see. Feels like a regular day. Like a regular day? It's like a, a Thursday. So, how do you like working with me? It's lovely. I love working with you. I'm gonna blink twice and I'm gonna tell somebody to send some help. <laughs> Please send help. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, so y'all see him package this. I need to print the packing slips and the shipping labels for this stuff so that he can package it and take it with him while I can still work on some more shirts. It's working though, because normally there would be shirts that aren't even tender touched yet. So they're tender touched, so they just need to be packaged. So I'm gonna leave y'all out here with him. Or no, let me let me take y'all to see what's working, what's in, what's going on in progress. Well, it looks like nothing's in progress. This shirt, this shirt, this one needs some fabric, and this shirt needs some fabric. So we use our AJ Blanks bags, um, so we reuse them, that way we don't spend 10 cents on some new clear bags. So they come with the AJ Blank shirt, so we just put everything back in the same bag it came in, fold the packing slips, and we put the packing slips with the ship to address face up, that way we can see it so that um, it makes packaging a lot quicker and a lot easier. We can double check the name if we flip it over to make sure it's the correct name, correct age, and everything. So this is our final check. We check the size, the name, and the ship to person. We've had it once that two people ordered the same exact shirt, same exact number. They had the same exact name, just a different address. Isn't that crazy? So here he is packaging everything like a professional. And here's the real pro coming in, all Speedy Gonzalez over here, packaging everything. <laughs> I get my mailers from Amazon. They're 10 by 13. Those cardboard mailers, they're rigid mailers I get from Uline and what else the etsy tape was free etsy gave it away about six months ago so i have like a bunch of rolls of that so i'm just gonna use it i like it it makes it look a little bit more professional so that's just pretty much all i do and i just package everything i do get the question why do i use all those layers of protection because they're all layers of protection because it rains if the poly mailer gets a hole in it there's a cardboard mailer if the cardboard mailer gets a hole in it there's a clear mailer <laughs> so Everything counts. You never know how your packages are handled. And again, these are birthday shirts, okay? You don't want to ruin it by someone getting something completely damaged and you could have prevented it. So that's why I do all of this.
Okay, so all the packages are packaged and it's 4.15. I swear I'm always racing against the clock. I don't know why. I act like I don't know the post office closes at 5. Like every day I'm shocked that I gotta hurry up. But these are the orders that we were able to finish today. So they are headed to their new homes. So my husband's gonna go ahead and take those. Diddy's gonna go pick up that food I really want because we did get an Instant Pot and I cooked Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, no, I cook Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we ate leftovers from those two meals. I'm getting my, I like, it's called bulgogi. It's Korean meat, it's like sweet ribeye meat, it's real good with rice, yeah, my thing, it's what I like. So, um, he's gonna go pick that up. I need coffee because this coffee is still here because I told you guys earlier it was garbage. They put oat milk in it, I believe. Not my thing, my sister's thing, but not my thing, so. I need a new one of those. Hopefully I can edit this video today and it goes up today, but I'm honestly not sure. Just depends on my children and how they act and how much detail I want to do in editing. I'm trying to get better at editing, so hopefully my video doesn't suck. I don't know. We'll see. So for today's post notification shout out, I want to give a shout out to Cindy. I watched, or not watched, I listened to your podcast today. It was awesome, inspiring. I love when other people are like-minded and like to inspire others, so shout out to you. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to be shouted out in my next video, please make sure you turn on the bell notification. Obviously, you have to be subscribed first. Then turn on the bell notification, turn on all notifications, and comment something down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. And it's blurry, so bye!